features. When Earth was ravaged by war, the only thing left for man was his will to survive. And survive we did. Taking to space peace between these civilizations only lasted so long before the inevitable. In a desperate grasp for peace, we pooled our resources, constructing the ship Hope. However, not everyone believed this was a good idea, and as it turned out, they were right. Devising a plan to seek out a new world to live on, the mothballed Fleur de Lis, one of our last remaining star-worthy vessels, was equipped with a prototype FTL drive. But all that it found was the forgotten. Alright, so here we begin. Our main health bar is located in the lower right hand corner with a secondary health bar around our character underneath them, spinning counterclockwise. We have a clockwise spinning navigational indicator and there's also a targeting indicator when we move towards a target and select them. This changes color to recognize how much health they have. As you notice, the enemies aren't always hitting me. This is because we have scattering patterns and accuracy built into the weapons. My own weapons have accuracy as well, along with different forms of damage. Certain guns work better than others on certain targets. For instance, this is the light. Uh, I'll switch to the medium gun just to show you. Uh, so that's by pressing 2. Press here. It's very inaccurate and not too, well, not too good at hitting these targets. But if I swap over to the light cannon, it dispatches them a lot more effectively. Take care of this guy. Again, this gun doesn't work too well, but if we switch to the light, we'll probably have better luck killing it. Switching to main should kill it even faster. You might be wondering, what is uh, the medium weapon good for if it's not good for killing these targets? Well, the medium cannon is very effective at destroying the epitaphs. The player's health bar slowly fills up with blue as, it's, as the, it suffers more damage. The sloops are designed to follow other enemies, unless they happen to have one to follow, in which case they just charge after you. If you were to, let's say, take out this epitaph, the sloops would suddenly swarm you, as so. This is probably a good time to bring up the cheat codes. Alt makes you invincible, control kills you, and spacebar brings you back to full health. The arguably hardest to hit enemy in the game is the owl due to it being a stealth vessel. It has a very high scattering field. That's why it's best to use the heavy weapon on it because it can kill it fairly quickly and it's very accurate. However, it's a slow to fire weapon so it's not very good when you're battling a large fleet. I am currently invincible, and as such my ship turns blue, its regeneration is extremely fast and powerful, and is essentially unkillable. Here we see the first major fleet of the game. Players can cancel movement by right clicking. As more and more enemies surround you, navigating becomes more difficult. Here we see the final boss, being the F, Civilization Ship. Upon the death of F, the level ends and 
game's over.